Rapid Media presents Rapid Media TV. Scott McGregor here with Rapid Media TV, and I'm here with Corey in the boat booth at the 2012 ICAST show. Corey, you were telling me a little bit about this new board where you've taken a racing, uh, I guess, bottom or hull and slapped a, a, a different deck on it. Why don't you tell me a little bit more about it? Well, well, you were right in regards to the racing hull. Basically what we did with the new boards, as opposed to our last year's, I guess, standard 12-foot board, is we took a displacement hull, which is going to be more or less uh, a hull that slices through the water, as opposed to planing like our old hull, which we still offer, but it's considered more of a surf style hole, more of your traditional stand-up powder board hole. So what we did is we blended the race board technology with the surfboard technology to make it to where it was a more efficient ride through the water. Uh, that means a lot of different you know, results. Speed is definitely increased with the new displacement hole nose. Uh, the stability is actually increased because you're not being slapped up and down all the time when the board's going through the water. Uh, what happens with the displacement hole is that it's actually going to chop through the water instead of kind of riding on top of it and display and, and you know being thrown around at will. Uh, okay, so what's that mean for the fisherman? What, what's that? All right, the dude who's going to be on the board paddling, instead of having to slap his way through the water, have all the nasty water slapping on it, being tossed around by it, all of a sudden this guy's going to be paddling, he's going to see the water just peeling away like it would on a flats boat or on any other displacing hole boat. and his paddling experience will be much better. It's going to be a smoother ride. Uh, it's going to be a lot easier for him to control because it's going to track in the water. The nose is actually going to sit in the water, track straight, displace the water, and if he's in shallow water and it's really flat and he wants to be quiet, now the water's not going to be slapping on the hole anymore. It's just going to kind of go away, peel away. That's all right. Yeah, oh yeah, that's all definitely right. what we want. Okay, tell me a little bit in 30 seconds or less here about some of your accessories. How do you bake these, how do you turn these right into boards, into fishing boards? Well. All this crap will slide right off in less than 30 seconds, just like you said. So what you do, you carry the board to your place, put it on the ground, whether it be a, a, you know, a dock or the beach or whatever. You take your fishing post, slide it right into the board. If you got a Yeti cooler, buy one from Yeti. They're a great product. Toss it right on the board and it straps to the board with their tie-down straps. It takes no more than 20 seconds. You've got a fishing machine. It's either that guy or that guy, whichever one you want to go with. In 30 seconds. That's it. Thanks very much, Corey. Later, man. This is Scott McGregor for Kayak Angler Magazine. For Rapid Media TV, hoping you paddle forever. Learn more about Rapid Media's print and digital magazines, International Paddling Film Festival, on-water events, and online store. Visit rapidmedia.com.